Our next story is about the Columbia Ridge Elementary School Science Fair, and reporter Jeff Chu has the story. Ephrata's Columbia Ridge Elementary School Science Fair recently drew about 40 entries with more than 50 individual students or students on teams. Kindergartners to fourth graders took part in the event, which was the first one in many years. Fair co-chair Stephanie Mills, who had two daughters compete in the event, shared why the Parent Teachers Organization organized the event. We understand that there is a global need for children to be very interested in STEM careers, meaning science, technology, engineering, and math. And so we wanted to instill an interest in that in our students, especially let them know that no matter what your gender or your background, you can be a scientist. Columbia Ridge students, for the most part, came up with their own science project ideas. Well, we provided them with a night where we could give them some suggestions, but we also encouraged them to look online. Their teachers gave them a lot of ideas, and we did send them to the North Central Regional Library as well to look things up. Columbia Ridge principal Scott Monson said the fair was a success largely because of support from parents. PTO has organized this science fair and we hope to keep it going every year but we've had uh, we've had them in the past but a long time ago uh, there's a real push for science in the schools right now science and math and when we're talking to pto pto my pto here at columbia ridge is very interested in science and math so it was only natural that we try and get this going students were interviewed by judges about their projects first grader bailey broche won first place for her project what 3D glasses are the best? You thought that what 3D glasses are the best and we found out that blue and pink are the best. Third grader Gabe Daly's project involved a motor and a plastic dinosaur. Yeah, it's a robot. It's just plastic. Fourth grader Wesley Hauskin explained what his project was all about. It's about how and in which order common household liquids stack. For example, um, the vegetable oil stacked on top of the water. But in my hypothesis, I thought it would I thought it would be the other way around. Round, and and in, and also in my hypothesis, I thought the water would be at the very top and honey at the very bottom. I was right about honey being at the very bottom, but wrong about water being at the top. Alcohol, rubbing alcohol was at the top. Best of Fair winner Anna Pugh, a fourth grader, in April will go to the Washington State Science and Engineering Fair in Bremerton. She will compete for a money prize there. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back.